There's no place like the Cube. Family, it's your favorite queer radio personality, Anna Deshawn, and this is Queer News. Your favorite weekly pod where race and sexuality meet politics, culture, and entertainment. Now let me welcome our new members to the Cube Crew. Welcome Jess, Emily, Maria, Schaefer, and Perry. Thank y'all so much for supporting Queer News. Your recurring monthly support helps to supplement the cost of the pod. Podcast hosting, editing, marketing, PR, travel. Child, I can go on and on. So if you believe in the work we do, if you believe LGBTQ stories need to be amplified, if you love and respect how I report on the news and tell our stories, join the Q crew. A link is in the show notes. Now for the news. A black trans woman wins a $160,000 settlement against a New York prison. Mississippi has elected its first openly gay legislator. Dictionary.com has added some LGBTQ words like polysexual and gay Mary. Okay. Marshawn Lynch is starring in a new LGBTQ film. And my favorite, television anchor Robin Roberts marries her longtime girlfriend, Amber Lane. So stay close because right after this quick break, I'll be back with the news. Let's go. Hey, I'm Anna. And I'm Adele. And this is the Head Nod. Season one, Black Life at a PWI. It's an unfiltered take on black life in predominantly white spaces. In the process, I mean, we learned some things. Ooh, especially that music, Chile. (laughs) (laughs) Tune in every Tuesday for a new episode wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. You're a business owner who cares more about people than profits. Although you still want to make some money, of course. And that can feel mighty lonely. That's why I created Feminist Founders, a podcast that explores how to build a more equitable world through entrepreneurship. I'm Becky Mollenkamp, a coach and journalist, and I'm excited to bring you stories of people who, like you and me, are trying to change the business landscape for good. Check out Feminist Founders wherever you listen to podcasts. You are now tuned in to higher frequencies. We do this frequently. Turn your radio station to E3 for that decency. Listen to great music and the latest movement. Safe listening for anyone that's tuned in. Who you waking up to? Anna Deshaun, Q Crew and Friends. It's that real talk. On live radio with the spins. You caught up in traffic, frustrated. Just check in with E3 to shift your vibrations and get elevated. That's queer radio done right. Choose to be yourself. That's the only way to live life. And that's how it's done here. Our leading story for this week is all about Makayla Holland. Makayla, a 25-year-old black trans woman who just won a $160,000 settlement for violations against her human rights while spending six weeks in the Broome County, New York Correctional Facility. Now, during these six weeks, she was placed in the men's unit and denied access to her prescribed meds such as antidepressants and hormones. To get even more specific, Makayla says, I was harassed, mocked, misgendered, and worse. Jail staff strip searched me, beat me up, placed me in the male section of the jail, and withheld hormones for a period of time, forcing me to go into agonizing withdrawal. Family, I think y'all know from listening to this pod and probably just from y'all's own personal experiences that this is not an uncommon story. Now, what is uncommon is actually winning a lawsuit that you file against said prison system. So we have to give big props to her pro bono, mm -hmm, pro bono legal defense team, which includes the Transgender Legal Defense and Education Fund, the New York Civil Liberties Union, and pro bono counsel Paul Weiss, Rick Fiend, Wharton, and Garrison, LLP, okay? Now, because of Makayla's courage to bring this lawsuit to Broome County, 
She is now making an impact on future trans folks who find themselves incarcerated there. The jail is now making a commitment to validating and protecting our trans fam, as well as complying with federal and state laws. That all sounds good, right? But like, what does that look like in real life? Let me tell you. It looks like them placing folks in units consistent with their gender identity. It looks like searches being conducted by someone whose gender aligns with the individual being searched. It also looks like access to medical care that doesn't come with discrimination or bias. The ripple effect continues as well because other counties can now adopt these policies as well. You know, when things like this happen to us, we often don't know what to do. Clearly, Michaela has a circle of people around her who are able to support her in this, to bring this lawsuit, and to get this settlement. We never know what the impact is going to be, but this impact is huge. So well done, Michaela. Well done. Now in politics, Mississippi is gearing up for a historical moment. They have elected their first openly gay legislator, and his name is Fabian Nelson. Fabian is a Mississippi native whose family has been breaking down barriers for generations. His grandmother was the first black nurse to integrate the hospital in Yazoo City. His father was one of the first black folks to graduate from the Virginia Commonwealth University School of Dentistry. He's a foster parent, a business leader, and a healthcare advocate who's had the goal of serving on the House floor since he visited the Capitol in elementary school. Fabian says, I still think I'm in a dream. I'm still trying to process it and take it in. I bet you are. I bet you are, sir. I mean, you are about to be the first gay legislator in Mississippi history. Wow. He will be sworn in prior to the next legislative session in January. In culture news, every year, our favorite dictionaries update words, phrases, and definitions. This year, Dictionary.com has done the same, and a few of those terms happen to be related to queer folks. The online dictionary has added 556 new words this year alone, which is wild to me because I keep using the same words, so I have no idea (laughs) what these new 556 words could be, but I digress, okay? I digress. So (laughs) let me tell you a few that they've added. Polysexual, autosexual, gay married, and amalgagender. Mm -hmm. It's the first time I heard that word, too. Now, I'm going to tell you what these mean, and I want to thank Dictionary.com and Pink News for dropping these definitions, too. Polysexual, noting or relating to a person who is sexually attracted to people of various genders, but not necessarily to people of all genders. Got it? Now, autosexual, noting or relating to a person who primarily feels sexual attraction to and desire for themselves, as opposed to other people. I think all of us need to be autosexual, okay? Now, gay marry is just what you think, to marry a person of the same gender. Amalgagender, amalgagender, noting or relating to a person whose gender identity is linked to or impacted by the fact that they are intersex. Okay. Now, if you didn't know, now you know. I didn't know, and now I know. And when I found out, I had to tell y'all, so now you know. Now go ahead and rewind that a couple times so y'all can get these definitions right. (laughs) I also want to report that they went through older definitions and removed or replaced gendered pronouns where they weren't necessary. Now, the new words are great, but honestly, I think that this change is probably even more impactful because it really puts inclusivity first. For example, the online dictionary's old definition for volunteer was a person who voluntarily offers himself or herself for a service or undertaking. Family, we're used to these types of definitions, right? But let me tell you the new and revised definition of volunteer. It now reads, a person who voluntarily opens to perform a service or undertaking. They've removed the himself or herself, right? 
And it's such a small change, but it made such a big impact, such a big impact for those who do not identify with the binary. Way to go, dictionary.com. Way to go. Now, family, I think this is a good time for us to take a quick break because we got to pay some bills. And when we return, I'll have more culture and entertainment news. Do you enjoy camping? Do you identify as BIPOC? Now, do you identify as LGBTQ? If you said yes to all three of those questions, you got to join Be Bliss for its Beats and Bonfires Weekend. It's happening at Camp It's Outdoor Resort in Sagatal, Michigan, September 22nd through the 24th. This weekend is going to give you DJs, fitness, discussions, food trucks, pool parties, mixes, contests, and more. Visit BeatsAndBonfires.com to get your tickets or for more information. Now here on Queer News and E3 Radio, we're giving away two weekend passes. So keep your notifications on E3 Radio's IG and Anna Deshaun's IG so you don't miss it. Let's go. What has 144 players, 12 teams, and one league that you should tap into? If you guessed the WNBA, you already know. If you didn't, we'll get you up to speed real quick. My name is Money, and this is Rebound Revolution, bringing you the revolutionary on and off the court happenings in the W. Join me and a special guest each week as we watch them work. Listen to Rebound Revolution wherever you get your podcast. Welcome back to the pod, family. In more culture news, Marshawn Lynch is starring, get this, in a teen lesbian comedy called Bottoms. I know on the surface, these two things do not seem to mesh, but I have seen a couple of clips from Bottoms and it looks like he fits in perfectly. If you don't know, who Marshawn Lynch is, let me tell you, he was known as Beast Mode, okay? And he played 12 seasons in the NFL and is known for being one of the best to ever do it. So for him to be in this sort of wonky high school lesbian comedy is as unexpected as the director intended. <laughs> What's really noteworthy here is why Marshawn decided to take the role in the first place. He considers it penance pretty much, for handling his sister's coming out in high school so bad. He feels like it's the universe giving him a chance to right his wrongs. Let me tell you, him and his sister are cool. They have a good relationship. And she actually encouraged him to take this role, which I think is pretty dope. Bottoms is currently in theaters, so go support it, family. For our final story today, my favorite, my absolute favorite television anchor of all time, Robin Roberts, got married over the weekend in a small, intimate ceremony to her longtime girlfriend, Amber Lane. The ceremony took place in their backyard of their Connecticut home, and the pictures look just beautiful. They've been together since 2005, so they're knocking on 18 years. And they didn't even come out about their relationship until 2013, shortly after Robin was diagnosed with a rare blood and bone marrow disease. In 2022, Amber fought cancer, much like Robin did back in 2007. And now they've tied the knot? Family, from what I can tell, when life comes at them hard, they double down and love on each other even harder. And from the pictures and the videos, it looks like they had a ball. Congratulations, y'all. Love wins again. And as always, it's that time to close out our podcast with a word. Because Anna's always got a word. And today's word is forgiveness. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The word is so easy to say, but so challenging to really practice. When people have wronged us, it's hard to let that go. I'm struggling, okay? There have been times when I just walked away from friendships without even a conversation. This Virgo in me, okay? There have been times when I held on to that wrong for so long, I forgot what I was mad about and still chose not to speak to that person again. My questions are, was it worth it? 
Is that a healthy way to live? Those are still my questions. <laughs> but I will say that forgiveness is freedom. I have forgiven people and I have felt that freedom. Only things that you and I and we give energy to can actually percolate in our world. Like that's it. That's that's it. Energy in, energy out. So choose to give your energy to something and someone that gives you that same energy back. Let that burden go. Release that harm. Forgive and experience the freedom that gives you in your life. I'm saying this out loud and I'm just preaching to myself, okay? So <laughs> till next week, family. Peace. If you enjoyed what you heard, rate and review us inside your favorite podcasting app. This podcast is written and produced by me, Anna Deshaun. Podcast editing by Experience J of Just Listen Media. And brought to you by E3 Radio, your number one queer radio station playing queer music and reporting on queer news in high rotation. 